Do you have a hard time pronouncing the final L or dark L sound in English? I would love to help you with that. Hi, my name is Lori and I work for an online American English pronunciation training program called Pronunciation Pro. In each of my videos, I provide just a snippet of information about American English pronunciation. A snippet is a small amount of something. And my aim is to give you just one small skill in each video that you can practice to help you sound more like an American English speaker. So let's focus on that final L, also known as the dark L. Calling it final L is a little bit misleading because this L sound doesn't have to occur at the end of a word, although it frequently does. So we call it the dark L. The dark L occurs after a vowel sound. So let me explain why we call it the dark L. When an L sound occurs at the beginning of a word, such as light, lady, or love, or after a consonant such as play, flight, or clip, it has a light sounding quality because the tongue is lifted and touching the back of the upper front teeth. La, la. However, when the L occurs at the end of a word, such as ball, will, or special, or after a vowel in the middle of a word, such as always, also, or cold, it has a darker sound. This is because the tongue is staying low in the mouth. Now the dark L is usually taught as a cupped tongue position. And most native English speakers do cup their tongue slightly when making this sound. However, when my students focus on that cupped tongue shape, they end up curling up the tip of their tongue and they get an er sound instead of all. This makes a word like all sound like er, and it makes wall sound like war, and it makes initial sound like initial. So, I'm going to give you a really easy way to fix this problem. When you're pronouncing a dark L, so an L that happens after a vowel, make sure that tongue is resting on the floor of the mouth and the tip of your tongue is touching the back of your lower front teeth right here. If you anchor your tongue tip lightly on the back of your lower front teeth, you won't curl your tongue tip up into an er sound. So now go practice all of the words that you use frequently where L occurs after a vowel and try that technique. You'll be surprised at how well it works. If you found this tip helpful, Please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting new content on a regular basis to help you with your American English pronunciation. And if you have any requests for topics that you'd like me to cover in these videos, please let me know in the comments section. In the meantime, happy practicing, and I'll see you in the next video.